So, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, I would like to present you about the Physics 110 Mechanics 1 about the laboratory part in video presentation. So, what about the title of this video presentation is Measuring Gravitational Acceleration in, a, in our experiment number 3 by lecturers Dr. Nazri bin Ahmad and me, starting for me, Muhammad Akil and goes by the Haris, Haydin, Hadril and lastly, Haikal. So, this presentation, we have the two outline, which is we are going to explain the objective methods, results, analysis, discussion, and also conclusions. And the second, we're going to explain the methods by demonstrate of the experiments. So, what about the objective of this experiment? We are going to investigate the functional relationship between height of fall and falling time. And the second, we are going to determine the acceleration due to gravity by G single by studying the motion of a freely falling body, which is from the high to the lowest part. We are going to take it by the times how much it costs the accelerations. So the apparatus needed in this experiment are a one meter ruler, a subwash, and a ping pong ball. Procedure number one: the ruler was used to measure the height of the fall of ping pong ball. Number two: the ping pong ball was held at desired height and let the ping pong ball fall downwards. Number three: the falling time of the ping pong ball was recorded using stopwatch. Number four: step two and three were repeated the times to get the actual reading. Number five: step two, three, and four were repeated with different height of fall. Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Haris, and so here are the results we got from our experiment of measuring gravitational acceleration. So the first thing is uh, height of fall, which is we consider it as a h, and the unit is in meter. So the way we got the uh, we got the results for the height is we measure it on the wall, where each point increased by 0 0.25, and then. We have the time taken where the time measurement must be taken at least three times to get the accurate data. Uh, and then uh, we need to find the average time taken for the experiment by adding all the time take uh, time data taken and divide it with three. And lastly, the time average will be squared to get the data. So here are the results we got from the experiment. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and greetings to Dr. Nazri and anyone else that currently watching this video. My name is Muhammad Haikal and for my part, I will be discussing about the analysis of the experiment 3 which is measuring gravitational acceleration. So for the analysis, number 1, from the data, plot graph for A height of fall as a function of falling time. So me and also my team already then plot the graph using the Google Excel as we can see on the slide. B. Height of fall as a function of the square of falling time. As we can see on the slide, me and also my team already then plot the graph using the Google Excel. For number 2, using the height of fall as a function of the square of falling time graph, determine the gradient which is slope of the graph and calculate the value of G. So, First and foremost, we need to do is we need to find the gradient which is slope using the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we put the value which is m equal to 2 minus 0 0.5 over 0 0.94 minus 0 0.13. So using the using the calculator. We can get the answer which is m equal to 1.852 
meter per second square. Next, we need to find the value of G. We use the formula, which is the formula Y2 minus Y1 uh, over X2 minus X1 equal to 1 over 2G. So we put the value which is 1.852 equal to 1 over 2G. So we calculate and we got the value of G which is 3.704 meter per second square. 3. Calculate value of uncertainties of G. So to find the uncertainties of G, first and foremost we need to find the gradient of M1 and also M2. So, for the M1, we put the value which is M1 equal to 1.5 minus 0 0.25 over 1 minus 0 0.16. So, we calculate and got the value of M1 which is 1.49 meter per second square. For the M2, we also use the same formula which is we put the value 1.5 minus 0 0.25 over 1 minus 0 0.1 so we calculate and got the answer got the value of m2 which is 1.39 meter per second square to find the uncertainties we use the formula m1 minus m2 over 2 so we put the value that we already find just now m1 and m2 which is m1 1.59 1.49 minus m2 1.39 over 2 so we calculate using the calculator and we got the uncertainties of g which is 0 0.05 meter per second square for the analysis number 4 calculate the percent difference between the value of g calculated in part 1 which is G experiment and the standard value of G standard equal to 9.81 meter per second square. So the question is what is the percentage error in this experimental value? So to find the percent error, which is percent error equal to 3.704, which is we got from the analysis number 2. To calcul uh, calculate the value G that we already done, calculate it and over 9.81 times 100. So we calculate and we got the percent error which is 37.76%. Hi, my name is Nick Haidemir Raziha and I'm going to talk about discussion. There are three sorts of mistakes in this experiment. Firstly was a human error. The time taken of the ping pong ball falling down to the ground are not equivalent. The progression or suggestion is digital free fall apparatus with digital counter must be used in this experiment to get accurate data and result. Number two is equipment error. Ping pong ball are so light that will be easily affected by the wind and also can affect the data and results. The suggestion is the ball bearing must be used in this experiment due to its heavier mass. Number three, reading are not consistent. The suggestion is repeat the experiment and take the average reading. So for the conclusion of this experiment three, which is Measuring the gravitational acceleration. Based on the result and analysis of this investigation, we can conclude that the mass of an object does not create a change in the velocity of each fall for any object. The object will always have the same velocity when falling from the same height as it is free fall. This is because due to the earth gravity that act on it when air resistance does not come into consideration.